Hello YouTube, this is Morris Man, and by request someone asked me to do a brief tutorial on how to play uh, Suzy Q, Get Him Up and Do It Again. I did a cover of this song on my channel, so they want to know how to play it. Very simple song. Uh, it's just one phrase for the bass player throughout the entire six minutes. So that's all he does, just play this one bass phrase. And I'm going to play it at regular speed, then I'm going to slow it down and I'm gonna give you the notes. So it goes a little something like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break it down into two halves. I'm going to play the first phrase, and then I'm going to give you the notes, and then I'm going to play the second phrase. So first phrase is, again, this. Okay, and what that is is D, C, D, F, D, C, A. Actually, that's actually the entire phrase. I was going to try to break it in half, but it was easy just to do the whole entire phrase. So it's... So it's D, C, D, F, D, C, A, G. Then it's G again. So that's basically the song there. I mean, that's basically it in a nutshell. So have fun with it. It was a really nice track back in the day. And it's nice to go back and play songs that have a really heavy bass line to it. Because nowadays it's just kind of the synthesizer thing. And it's, that's pretty cool. But it's good to hear every now and then electric bass in the song. You know, it's just, you know, the bass is a beautiful instrument. It holds down the foundation of the, tr of the track. So... You know, so again, I hope you got something out of this lesson, and uh, I'll post some more requests, you know, when people send them in as far as uh, how did you play that, what chords did you use, what notes, you know, I'd be happy to help out. So with that said, I appreciate you viewing my channel, and you take care.